And, um, and obviously you, you had that, that England debut. It obviously was a bit of a mixed bag for, for you. I know you've spoken about that before. I mean, how do you refl- have you had time to sort of reflect on it further now? And then your, what are your thoughts on it now? Um, the main thing was just to start. It was a very, very proud day for myself. Um, you know, I think it's something you dream of, you know, growing up. Um, and it really was an amazing day. Um, I, I didn't bowl anything like I normally would. Nothing felt right on the day. It really didn't, I have to be honest. Um, and then I didn't play again until the T10. Um, so I, was, I had a bit of sort of like almost performance anxiety sort of thing from that day. Um, but luckily I, I did really well. So uh, the ball was coming out quick and I was slamming the deck and you know I felt more like myself again. So hopefully if that opportunity arises again, I'm, I'm sure I'll take it. It's good to hear. I mean, it was, it was, I, was, I was there on the day and it was obviously visible that your, your teammates were getting around you and I presume the coaching staff were the same. Everyone seemed, it must have been very heartening to be there where everyone was clearly willing, willing it to get better and it did in the end, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, was, um, I felt you know, really pleased that all the lads were there and um, you know, putting an arm over me saying, it's going to be all right. I'd crawl it mid-off. He, was, he just kept backing me. And, um, so I think you have to with the bowlers. Um, if, they're, if they're down in the dumps, you can't just take them off. And I probably, I probably would have made me feel ten times worse. But um, yeah, I'm glad he kept me going and you know gave me that second spell and third spell. I still didn't feel great, but to to come back and you know keep my head in that sort of positive state at the time, mm-hmm. even though I was feeling pretty down, um, it just yeah it just shows that I probably had the right character to to come back. Head wasn't you know completely down, so. Mm-hmm. Um, I was happy that it turned out the way it did rather than not coming back onto ball. Mm. Well, we all know how important it is. Mindset is probably the most important thing in cricket. So the fact that you're able to come back is encouraging, isn't it, probably for the future? Yeah, definitely. I think you, you've got to stay positive. Um, and what's, what's been has been, even though it was a, li- a living nightmare at the time, um, you know, you've just got to try and park it and, and keep moving on to the next game, next ball. Mm. And in that respect, it was a bit frustrating because it was a very wet series, wasn't it? I, I, I think that the game after that got called off, didn't it? So it must have been very frustrating. You must have just wanted to get out there and just get on with it and show what you can do. Yeah, yeah. The f- I hate rain. I hate wait for rain. I think <laughs> so, so. Some people love the rain in the season if the body's tired and stuff like that. But um, playing for England for the first time, I just I did just want to get out there. I, I hated waiting around in the change room. So um, mm. at least we did get out there and play some cricket. Yeah, and um, and. I, I think Andrew Flintoff was on the coaching staff then and there's been a, obviously a bit of talk that he might have more of a role with England going forward. Can you just give a bit of an insight into, into the interactions he had with you and the rest of the squad as you saw it in um, that series? Yeah, it was to, well, first of all to find out he was going to join us for that series I was, you know, I was excited about it and was my hero, cricket hero growing up and probably still is now and has been for a long time. Um, but he, he was really good and supportive and he um, he praised the, the character I showed in that game um, and said, you know, everyone has games like that. This doesn't define you as a player. Um, so to have that backup and, you know, verbal positive feedback from him was, was really nice to hear. But he was great with the group and I'm sure he'll be around that again. Was his insight more in terms of tactical stuff or was it more in terms of, like, just being around the group and giving little, little bits of feedback? Yeah. yeah, I'd say more being around the group and giving the feedback. Um, but if, again, if we were to go to him and say any tips, he'd, he'd probably just say keep it simple. Um, but yeah, he's, he was just sort of backing everyone and he sort of gave me that backing and it was positive. Mm.